Today we're meeting in a facility that, that is, speaks to the collaboration between Savannah River site and the local community because this advanced research center was funded by Aiken County. It is an Aiken County facility that we leased back from them and we have research going on in this facility. It isn't just a, a nice auditorium that it is a research facility into hydrogen research and now uh, new materials research and so uh, at some point if you want to uh, get a huge dose of fuel cell research on next generation of automobiles, uh, new materials for, for transportation purposes, uh, Dwayne Wilson back here who is the uh, the lead for Savannah River Nuclear Solutions and that research is sponsored un underneath him. He'd be glad to uh, to host any tours that you'd like of this facility. But, you know, I if I tried to reach out and touch each of our uh, special guests here, I'm definitely not going to hit all of the uh, the men in uniform that, that I've met so far. And hopefully I'll meet the rest of you that, that I haven't met. But, but I really want to thank you for, for coming. This has been a long time in coming. And, and no, General, I'm not going to steal all of your your thunder there, but uh, I'm really excited about this partnership, and I'm and I'm going to use the word partnership, just like this facility is a partnership between Aiken County and the Savannah River site. This agreement that we're signing opens the door to us specifically evaluating a number of areas of of partnership. Uh, and it also opens the door for some communications with Savannah River National Laboratory and the South Carolina National Guard, where we take a look at the things you're doing very well and things we're doing very well, and we're trying to marry those together. Uh, we both have interest in the region and emergency response, and so we look forward to being able to move forward in some joint uh, endeavors in emergency response so that we are supporting one another it, you know, we don't want any events, thank you very much. But we look forward to supporting one another should there, there be one. And yes, we are interested. We have 310 square miles and we might be able to find a little corner that, that makes sense. Uh, and uh, we'll look and we'll follow the regs on transferring land if that makes sense. And, and we'll look forward to that. And we'll be sure as, as you in the in the guard are, are looking to construct facilities that that will collaborate with you on that because we'd really love to have some joint use facilities uh, and we have some facilities that that uh, you might drool over for a while you know until you get yours up and running and and we can work out the security uh, so that we can collaborate in those facilities and especially the secure communication facilities and so want you to know that that no we're not talking about a specific project today we're talking about an umbrella and there will be a whole host of projects as we're successful and and moving for moving forward i really want to thank the the media that that's here i want to thank uh, representatives of, of our congressional delegation thank you very much uh, even as the one sitting way back in the back, thank you. Uh, uh, it's great to be here. It's great to be talking about the future of both the Guard and the Savannah River site and how we move forward together. So with that. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm humbled to be here today. It's, uh, we've been working on this uh, a partnership for a while and, and I've got a lot of people to thank. Uh, Dr. Moody for your vision. Uh, General Eisner for, for uh, I'm sorry, for General Livingston for your vision as well uh, and the clear direction that was provided uh, from the senior leadership was uh, uh, made this uh, very easy. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, Dave Hepner and uh, Patrick Jackson from uh, DOE, Savannah River Nuclear Solutions. Uh, 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 in, in particular, uh, John Veldman with uh, Savannah River National Laboratory uh, David Wilson, we had many meetings at, uh, 
uh, at night in Washington, D.C., or down here or in Aiken, uh, wherever we could, uh, our paths could cross. Uh, uh, we'd uh, also like to, uh, uh, to thank uh, Tony Hicks for the, the tours that he's given to the site. We've, we have basically utilized the South Carolina National Guard to open the portal of the entire DOD enterprise and assist in promoting the site nationally. And we've done many, many tours out here with, with folks from the Asymmetric Warfare Group, from Fort Leonard Wood, uh, in, in looking for ways to, to uh, branch and, and, uh, uh, and develop uh, additional uh, uh, partners throughout the Suborny enterprise. Uh, what does the site provide to us as a conventional force for the Army National Guard? I want to relay about four things. First off, uh, our training site, which is adjacent to Fort Jackson, is 15,000 acres. Uh, this site, as you know, is, has vast natural resources, uh, untouched virgin terrain, and we can do non-obtrusive training here uh, to the tune of 100,000 acres uh, without impacting the, the current operation and the DOD uh, core mission. The second piece that's, uh, that's, that, that makes this uh, uh, very special to us is this facility has Cold War era nuclear facilities that, that our Special Operations Command uh, needs to become more familiar with uh, and to conduct uh, training exercises and we can provide our conventional forces and team with the unconventional forces uh, and, and, uh, and layer a, a, uh, a capability uh, to defeat uh, some of our adversaries. The third point that I'd like to, to, uh, to reinforce is this is the only place that we can provide live radioisotope uh, training uh, using live agents in a field environment on the East Coast. And so that allows us to do test, train, and evaluation. Uh, that allows us to to conduct some borny chemical, biological, radiological uh, exercises where uh, it's in the most realistic uh, scenarios possible for the military to train. And that's what we owe our soldiers and our airmen that are, that are uh, deploying overseas. Um, the fourth point is probably the most important and it reinforces the fact that we've got a world-class organization of people out here that are on the cutting edge of technology, nuclear and radiological uh, uh, capabilities, that when you couple that with our organization, you are able to, to provide solutions to what I consider national strategic issues that, that with DOD and DOE combined, we can come up with an interagency solution uh, that can solve some of these, these problems and protect our national interest. So with all that said, uh, those, those four key items are really what allows us to, with confidence, go to our delegation and go to the National Guard Bureau and the, and the uh, DA and DOD chain, uh, enterprise and say, this is a treasure in the rough. Um, that that is, uh, is, is really, as big as our vision will allow it. Uh, it is certainly a regional uh, training site uh, that has national implications. So thank you so much for allowing me to speak today.